Hello guys, so today I'm going to get a new tattoo and I'm slightly nervous <laughs> but um, I'm not nervous because of the pain, I'm just more nervous about um, the fact that I've not chose the design yet, I know what I want but I haven't seen it drawn up yet so I'm a little bit like ooh, but I'm sure it'll be fine, I'm not going to get a tattoo that I don't want so <laughs> but yeah, um, I thought I'd film it because why not, um, cut to me getting ink, ta -da! And I've just got myself a cup of tea and now I'm gonna switch to my camera so I can show you the tattoo in decent quality and talk a bit more so yeah yeah hey hello I am now using my trusty Canon 60D okay I'm not gonna lie this one was rather painful um all my other ones have been fine they were really small this is quite a big tattoo well it's not it's not a big tattoo but it is for me compared to the other ones I've got um, it's the second biggest one I've got. The biggest one I've got is on my back. But yeah, I decided I wanted this tattoo a couple of weeks ago. Um, me and my friends decided we were going to all go together and get one. I knew that I wanted a rose because I've wanted a rose tattoo for years. I think they're gorgeous. I love them. Um, so I knew I wanted a rose and I, over the last year or two I've just been drooling over like black and grey shaded tattoos, I just think they look so, so good. Um, so I knew that I didn't want a coloured tattoo. Um, I knew that I wanted a, like a traditional rose shaded. But then I also saw some tattoos with like, I don't know if they're classed as vintage tattoos, like, they're like the old school sort of traditional tattoos, the, the, the leaves on the roses. And the lines are really sharp and crisp and I just think it looks like, well you'll see in a minute what, what I mean because I just think they look so good. And then I saw the, a photo of this tattoo and I was like, it's like so confusing because I wanted a certain rose and then a cer these certain leaves like this tattoo. Because I really don't like walking into a tattoo parlour and going, oh I want this tattoo and showing them a picture of someone else's tattoo because I just, I just don't think it's cool. You know, it's not, it's, I wouldn't like it if someone did it to me, so. I mean, there's millions of people with the rose tattoos, of course. It's not a unique tattoo. I don't mean it in that way, but I mean, I would much rather have something a little bit more to do with myself, if that makes sense. Probably not, probably not. So yeah, like I said, I'd seen a few different tattoos um, and my boyfriend's really good at drawing. So I got him to draw a couple. So he just drew me a couple of like rough roses. I don't even know which way these are meant to be that way. <laughs> um, then that one. And then I really liked that one. So so the tattoo artist that did my tattoo just, you know, drew drew up his own version. 
Luckily I just loved the first thing that he drew, um, really liked it. And at first I wanted it quite small because I didn't want any of the tattoo like be on the curve of my arm because for some reason I just told myself that it looked stupid. But then when he put like the transfer on my skin and I looked at it in the mirror I was like, that looked awesome. So I got it a lot, a lot bigger than he intended. So yeah, here is my tattoo. I don't want to take my jumper off because it is freezing. Here is my tattoo. Yeah. I love it. It's awesome. That one just looks like so ridiculous now. <laughs> at the side of that. Definitely one of the most painful tattoos I've got. Um, this one and the one on my back. So when you get a tattoo like this, obviously, it's it's artwork. It's not just a flat tattoo, like a simple tattoo like that. Um, so to start off, he had to do the outline. And then he had to go over the outline with a thicker outline. So then he had to do the shading. Then he had to do the highlight. So it's like... It's like you're tattooing over tattooed skin, so it gets really tender after a while. And and like you would think that it's like worse at the beginning and it gets easier, but tattooing is the opposite. The longer the tattoo is, the the more painful it gets. So yeah, it was quite painful. I, I got a little, I felt a little bit sick towards the end, but it was cool. I got through it. Cause I'm just badass. Not. <laughs> I'm not badass at all. <laughs> it took. I'd say about 90 minutes, an hour and a half. Um, maybe a little bit longer, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I love it. Um, but yeah, there's no personal meaning behind it. It means um, I saw it, I liked it, so I got it tattooed on me forever. <laughs> That's what it means. I just don't think that every tattoo needs to have a meaning. I really don't. Hope you liked that video. I didn't film the whole thing because it took like 90 minutes and I'm pretty sure you would have got bored <laughs> so yeah I just filmed little snippets didn't really film myself much but I was on my own so I couldn't really I, there was nobody to hold my my phone and it's a bit awkward when you're sort of like holding your phone up thank you so much for watching see you in my next video bye